Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BC, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, where it's my brethren all around the world watching this video. Hope you're having a great day today as you're tuning in. Make sure you do yourself a damn favor and hit that subscribe button, and surely you will not be disappointed. Now, another one of those boxing prospect reviews. This one, you know, this, this is about a fighter that I know a lot of people aren't really paying attention to because he's not an American, nor is he a North American, nor is he an Eastern European. But we have, in this video, we will talk about Japanese flyweight <coughs> prospect, you know, 20 years old, Kento Hatanaka. Now, he's 8-0 with eight, eight knockouts. You know, I know you're saying, like, Brenda, who the hell is Kento Hatanaka? Well, this is a young fighter. You know, this is a guy that I had a chance to watch. He fought on the undercard of uh, Kosi Tanaka versus uh, Ryuchi Taguchi, I think his name was. Um, I was live for that fight, and I, I had a chance to catch a couple of the undercard fights. And this guy, I saw him fight, and he just caught my attention instant, instantly. And I was watching this guy; he had, he had these purple and purple trunks with pink uh, outlines on them, and, and, and you know. But, but, but more importantly than that, you know, I saw a guy just flo throwing these, these 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 very fluid, very fast, these very flashy but very, very well executed combinations. And you know, I, I did some research, and. Um, Kento Hatanaka, I mean, uh, really good fighter, you know. He is actually the son of a uh, former WBC Super Bantamweight champion, Kaiyushi Hatanaka. And it's, it's funny because his father, uh, Kaiyushi Hatanaka, he actually uh, has a gym in Japan where he manages and trains fighters. And the funny thing is, the, the, uh, one very notable fighter he's training, uh, for those of you who are up on your flyweights and your, your Japanese boxing, uh, one of the guys he trains is uh, Kosi Takanaka, who is the WBO flyweight champion, in my humble opinion, probably the most skilled flyweight out there right now. You know, There's obviously good fights to be made with him, and like Charlie Edwards, and Artan Delakium, and, and, and just those guys. But um, to me, from the eye test alone, Tanaka's probably the most uh, skilled flyweight out there. But as far as Kento Hatanaka, this guy, you know, he's he's very young in the pro game of boxing. You know, he had a 32 and 10 record as an amateur. Um, you know, didn't have a bit, a massive amateur career, but people spoke, spoke highly of him. They said as an amateur, he fought well beyond his years. Um, he turned pro in 2016, just a couple years ago, when he was 18 years old. Um, and when you watch him, the way I would classify this man's style is uh, he is a an exciting young. Uh, boxer puncher with good hand speed uh, you know and, and, and from everything we've seen so far you know usually when guys are at this prospect building stage of their career you know you, you, you can get a good gauge of how they'll be once it gets to, to the top level you know it's not an exact calculation with certain with certain things but I'm saying like for example if a guy on the way up is, is stopping every fighter of all kinds of levels of all kinds of calibers uh, styles, you know, left, right, and center. Then you can pretty much say with confidence, you know, if, if the guy stopped 15 tomato cans and they were, and those 15 tomato cans had different styles and they had different, you know, uh, levels of experience, and he kept, and that 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 was one concept that 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 fighter was stopping whoever his opponent was across the ring. Then you can make the, uh, you can you can be confident in knowing that okay, this guy when he gets to the top level, he, he's gonna have a chance to stop a lot of top level quality fighters. And you know, a, a guy I'll use it as an example of that. Is Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder has probably fought more tomato cans than any heavyweight out there at the top level. But, you know, he's gotten to that top level of boxing. You know, he's, he stops Stavern in brutal fashion. He stopped Luis Ortiz. He's, you know, knocked down Tyson Fury <coughs> in the 12th round of all rounds. So, you know, same thing. So he right now he's displaying top-notch finishing instincts. Now his last fight, the fight I had the chance to watch, which is what, which, which was on the undercard of Tanaka versus Taguchi. He fought a guy whose name I'm, I'm gonna try to pronounce it. I'm not. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna butcher it. He fought a guy by the name of Song Sang Foyam. I don't know how to say his name, but he fought a six and one guy, and it was good for him because it was the first time in his career to this point where he had gone uh, seven rounds. Because he in, in this fight the guy actually took him rounds. Uh, he went. It, it took him oh, no eight rounds actually. My bad. It took him eight rounds to get this guy out of there. So it was good for him to get to get that experience to get you know just those rounds in, and overall you know he has a style that I think like if you're just even a casual boxing fan you know he'll catch your eyes because of the combinations because of you know his power and at the weight he punches really really hard and, and right now as it stands he's he's still very very well known nobody knows who this guy is um, you know but he's somebody that if you're if if you follow boxing and you know you're looking to see you you, you ask yourself the question like okay well. Who are some guys that you know? Maybe I'm not thinking about in a weight class. I don't think about that. That that could be, go on to become world champions and go on to push on and, and be in big, fun, important, exciting fights and, and deliver me some knockouts. You know, this is a guy that you, you might want to keep your eye on. Cancel out the knockout because um, 
You know, he he's just very fluid. He's very fluid with his movement. He's very fluid with his with his combinations. He's very fluid with his punch selection. And overall, you know, I just see a guy in there that's been very well at school. You know, when, when your father is a world champion, he owns a gym and and he's training. Uh, you know, fringe level pound for pound fighters like Kosi Tanaka. You know, then then, then you would expect to. Um, the son of a former world champion to at least be somewhat decent and he he from what I've seen he's more than somewhat decent and I look forward to seeing how he pushes on in his career um because so far you know as it stands everybody they put in front of him and albeit when you're at this stage you don't really fight nobody but I'm saying like everybody they put in front of him you know eight people knocked all eight of them out so you know fair play to him he's doing his thing over there in Japan he's not very highly ranked you know take it for what it's worth but on box rec he is currently the 152nd uh, flyweight ranked fighter in the world, and he's he's not even a top 25 Japanese flyweight yet. And I, I think that says more about the Japanese flyweight team than it does him because um, you know, J J Japanese fighters, Japanese fighters, Mexican fighters always dominate these weight classes because you know, Japanese people and Mexican people are are, are traditionally shorter and skinnier and, and, and things like that. So, you know, it's like Americans produce really good welterweights and light heavyweights you know but the Amer American America doesn't really produce as, m as many good flyweights or, or bantamweights Th these divisions are dominated by usually uh, Mexicans Japanese fighters uh, you know you get your Argentinians um, and that's just what it is but Kento Hatanaka exciting young instinctive boxer puncher son of a former world champion 8-0 eight, no, 8 knockouts keep your eyes out for him because he will be here and he'll be here soon if he keeps doing what he's doing and I think you know he's got a good. He's, he's got the tools to to, to really push on and, and, and uh, potentially win a world title. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about Kento Hatanaka. If you know anything about him, because I'm sure most of you don't, but I, I'm trying to just put you guys on game because I I saw a guy in there with some, with some real talent. So uh, leave your comments down below. Take the time to subscribe, like I say in every single one of these videos. You can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.